Hi everyone, so finally the festive season is over and it's the time when we get back to business. It's the time when we start thinking what all we have to do in terms of our career, education, work life, house life, everything which is there which we thought that ye cheez Diwali ke baad karenge is all now coming in front of us. So now few days back a lot of you like uh, on my LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Gmail I got so many queries about a course which I did last year from IIT Delhi and that was the SID MBA course. It's an executive program and a lot of you had written out to me asking me questions how is the course, should we go for it? Will we get a placement and all of that? Of course, I answered all of the queries, but I thought that there must be so many of you who must be thinking that now we should start investing in our career, probably thinking about taking the SID MBA course. So I'm sure that this will definitely come to you handy and it will definitely help you a lot in your decision making for the course. This video I'm going to actually make like a A to Z about the entire course and I have also my notes right here which I have written. These have all the questions as well as all the things which I had in my mind while I was applying for this course. So uh, like why I joined it, for whom it is, for is it worth it, is it easy. There are a lot of FAQs which we have in our mind. What is it? How is the course? I'm going to definitely tell you in this video so please stick to the end and in case you find this video helpful not for my sake but for the sake of others you can share it with them whoever is considering to enroll in this course we're planning to do this in future and it will have everything which will help that person in understanding about that course. Okay, so first things first, I'll start with my background because that will really help you understand from what background I come and how much this course has helped me. So by profession, I'm a full-time software engineer. I'm into testing and quality assurance and by passion, part-time I do, I'm a radio presenter with All India Radio. Apart from that, I do content creation. I have been a TEDx and international speaker. And so the reason behind me joining this course was of course uh, to understand the science behind the social media and I remember when I started content creation I went across so many resources across the internet but there were so many questions left in my mind which I could not get the answer for. And I knew I wanted to enroll in some course. So at that time, this is about in 2017, I had thought that maybe you know what, I should join uh, some course. Like there are so many local courses around us from some private institutions. And also there are so many online resources. And so I decided that, you know, I should go for those courses. And then uh, there is a person whom I follow. Her name is Shreya Jain. I will also link the video which she had created which I had seen talking about this course and then I went through this course and I thought that this is really good. So the problem which came into my mind was that I wanted to do a three year wala course which is actually the, the normal duration for which the normal executive programs are there and the challenge for that is you have invested your full three years into it and it will be very difficult for you if you have a job the whole day you will be in office and most of the executive programs are designed that you have to go back to the classes after your work let's say around 5 or 6 pm around till 9 or 10 pm every day and you have your exams on the weekend or classes on the weekend so you're all seven days of the week are blocked for the executive program now about this course this is about a six months course and uh, the classes are held of course on the weekend so monday to friday i don't have to bother and on the weekends it's just a commitment for six months in total so every class is very precious hence i had a hundred percent attendance i am very busy on the weekends I have a lot of commitments on the weekend. Most of the events are there on the weekends, but I just ditched all of them and I just attended all of the classes because I wanted to make full use of the classes. 
now coming to the aspect like some of you had written to me that um, if i have done an m video i still need to go for that course and another question was that uh, i have not done an mba i am not from a management background can i still go for this course how difficult how easy it will be so the thing about the course is that in case you are not from a management background which even i was not in my class so the thing about executive education is that it is for those people who are working they have some amount of work experience so ideally between 2 to 2 and above so in my class there were people from if there were people who were on a very higher hierarchy in the management and there were people who were still you know juniors like me and there were people who were in the mid level and there are people from all walks of life so you'll come across people who are in management who are in engineering who are in architect who are in media who are in design each and every phase of life so that in itself gives you a lot of boost and brings you a lot of uh, knowledge from different walks of life like, so like i said i don't come from a management background but this course which is the sid mba course which basically stands for strategic innovation digital marketing and business analytics this course actually is meant for people from all walks of life but it will only help you if you want either of these things whether it is strategic innovation or digital marketing or business analytics to be used by you so like i am a full time software engineer and until and unless i don't go into the analytics side or the analysis side of the business anything which has got to do with marketing or where i am planning or doing some kind of innovation uh, in my project this course will not help me right but the reason why i joined this course as i said because i am a content creator and i wanted to know the science behind it and i wanted to know how each and everything is done behind the scenes in social media so in that aspect yes it has helped me a lot and i know that there are so many online resources there are so many courses which are run by leading digital marketers online offline workshops master class but when i joined this course since i went to a classroom kind of a setup after about 7 8 years so when i was into this course i learned one of the things which i want to share with you is that there is no substitute for a classroom interaction for a classroom kind of uh, teaching as compared to any kind of online resource this is what i really learned from this course and our professors uh, were really very helpful and they, uh, and they helped us a lot in so many aspects and you will not believe how helpful they are till date although it's been a long time i've passed out from that course so if you are not from management background the only challenge which i faced was there were some of the terminologies people had uh, you know already known if they were from a management or mba kind of background but then i had to study and again then there were so many engineering related topics uh, like computer science related topics because computer science is you know inevitable you know, those people who were not from a computer science background had some kind of challenge but everyone is brought to a single level in the class because uh please try to understand in a class not everyone will be in the same level and it's a 6 months course so to make you understand a lot of things you have to bring the whole class at one level so that really helped me a lot plus you have people around who will become your friends who will definitely help you a lot uh, some of you even asked me ki kya is course ke baad koi placement hoti hai so let me tell you there is no executive course in my knowledge which provides any kind of placement because it's meant for only those people who are working so of course koi placement nahi hoti does it guarantee a job again that depends on you so there were people from my class who got lot of promotions and job changes soon after the course now i'm not sure it happened the cause of the course once is that you have the iit tag then you have a different kind of knowledge which is not there in the market which is you know given by other courses in uh, when it comes to taking important decisions for their project and office 
so it does not guarantee and it's not like a sure shot for getting a job so please don't come and join this course for this idea now another thing i would like to say here when you were in school when you were in college or even when you are in office or you join any kind of training there are so many students in the class okay not not everyone is the topper not everyone get placed not everyone is earning the same pay scale because everyone is different the way everyone invest their hard work and knowledge is different like i stood fifth in the class and also i would like to say that it does not always guarantee joining a course you'll get a 100% job if someone says that that's a total gimmick you should stay out of it stay away from it because that there is nothing which can guarantee a job unless you put in your hard efforts even in this course in a 6 months time see it's a very less time just may they will be teaching you so many things like they'll give you all the course material you don't have to buy anything on your own but that is such a huge course material that even till date i go through it it's been like more than a year and a half i have been after that course and this whole year i joined so many other uh, online uh, courses and went to so many conferences and master classes because whatever you're learning today and this industry is quite dynamic so with time you have to enhance your knowledge you can't just stick with your uh you know age old knowledge you have to enhance your knowledge and for enhancing your knowledge you have to keep on reading and studying networking with people around you who are in that domain probably uh, you know going to some event or conferences following the news whatever resource you want to do so there is no stopping it's not like a ultimate destination ki ye course kar liya to bas job mil jayegi iske baad mujhe kuch karne ki zarurat nahi even if you get the job still in the job you have to you know polish your skills you have to do certain kind of certifications whatever your job requires now another thing which was asked to me how to get admissions back is the last date for this year's applications you have to send your portfolio your resume all your uh, educational and job related certificates and you don't need an noc from your company until and unless you're working on a weekend if you get into the course which of course is the case if you do a regular 3 year wala course the of course fees is around 2 lakh rupees as far as i remember now you'll think it's a lot but trust me it's not a lot and it's worth every penny because I was searching a lot of courses like ISB has IIM has so many different of these premier management institutes they have these kind of courses and I saw like IIM Lucknow the Noida campus has a 3 days similar kind of course only 3 days and that costed about 3 to 5 lakh somewhere around that ISB few days back I got to know about a course which again was of 3 days and it costed around 20 21 lakh so this is of course a brand name IIT Delhi is a brand name and the price is completely worth it of course as i said it depends on your hard efforts so if you want to get into strategic innovation uh content planning content creation digital marketing or business analytics it is definitely useful for you. is there any entrance exam so for uh, if you are selected you will be called for an interview and the interview will be taken by one of the professors there are three professors who had taught us professor sanjay who was uh, teaching us strategic innovation then a uh, professor arpan kar who was, was teaching to us about digital marketing and business analytics which was taught to us by dr vignesh and either of the three will be taking your interview and they'll be asking you questions on excel they'll be asking you questions on uh, related to digital marketing your experience why you want to join the course so a basic kind of a knowledge uh, and uh, knowledge kind of a test and also uh why you want to join this course your background etc etc what happened during the course before the course and after the course like how it helped me so i'll quickly run through it so before the course i was getting a lot of speaking opportunities uh, around the world but the only challenge which i was facing was how should i project my content to the right kind of people what is seo how is it done i know i got the tips and tricks to do seo but 
what exactly it is and how you should do it a lot of things behind the scenes so i learned all of that there were apart from these three professors there are so many guest lectures from people who are industry experts so they also come and share and take classes and tell share their experience as well after the course as i said so many people from my class benefited you too can but it entirely depends on you one important thing i would like to mention is about a conference which was by the academy of global business advancement so some of us had written few research papers and we went to thailand to present it and then this year that paper was published as one of the chapters by Magro Hill International and it was uh, published in a book so few of us have been authors to a chapter of the book so there are so many opportunities which come to you and you know associating and networking with people is one of the most important things which helps you anyways and this is one of a great platform where you can gain knowledge share knowledge network with people and then this year i also had joined all india radio now it may seem very simple like uh, being an rj you don't need the course but i felt the need of this course and in radio because uh, there are so many things which you need to present you have to create ads and you have to present your programs in such a way that it attracts your listeners and you have to understand the marketing behind a lot of things in planning my content to put it on air and marketing how can it reach to someone so all of these kind of strategizing it has really helped me a lot another thing which i have really learned is uh about the case studies which were really very really helpful um of different companies and now whenever i buy something or whenever i have to do a review i make use of a case study i have covered all of the aspects which i wanted to share with all of you my experience before during and after the course and i would like to say the classes are held on the weekends and on national holidays as they mentioned and they are held from 9 am to 5 pm there are three breaks including the lunch break everything from eating to the course where everything will be provided to you by them you just have to go and attend the course and you will definitely come out as a new person i wanted to add that i forgot is that you will also get all the assignments which you have to do in your weekdays and submitted on most of the weekends so if you found this video very helpful do share it with people who are trying to make a decision to get into some executive course don't forget to give this video a big like and don't forget to subscribe and in case you also have any kind of query related to executive education or sit mba at iit delhi getting through iit delhi with this course now i never thought i would ever be an iit delhi student but this course help me achieve that distant dream of mine so you too can do that and in case you have any kind of query anything you want to ask leave it in the comments below and i'll definitely answer and also i'll leave some of the links of the batchmates in my class so in case you want to go and ask them they are from different walks of life if you feel someone matches your profession or your profile and you want to make a decision using their experience you can definitely go ahead and do that so and you'll get a lot of information in the description box as well so if you want any kind of, so if you want any kind of help you just have to go to the description box and you you can find a lot of information there and leave all your comments i'll definitely reply to all of your queries found it helpful don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i come on youtube and put a useful video and that's it for this video take care and i hope it helped you into your decision making and stay happy